In this video, I'm going to show you how to personalize the backs of your medals without using an engraver. If you're wondering what I do when I'm not making YouTube videos, I'm working or I am running races. And here is my medal from Chicago in 2021. I ran 26 miles through the city of Chicago and at the end of it, they gave me this beautiful medal and it had this huge rectangle on the back of it and I'm supposed to buy an iTab or I'm supposed to engrave it somehow and I didn't really have a good way of doing that so I'm going to fast forward. I 3D printed in PLA, two color PLA, gray and black tag that I super glued to the back of my Chicago metal. Now let's get started. Now, a lot of these races will give you a medal and it will have this rectangle on the back. And up until this point, I would just get out my label maker and just put my name and my time on it. And then a lot of medals just don't have anything on the back. What I'm gonna do is take out my caliper tool and for the ones that have the rectangle on the back, I'm just gonna measure out the size I need for the rectangle. So this one is 38.8, so I'm probably gonna just do 38 or 38.5 by the height, which is going to be around 31 millimeters. And uh, so, and then for a metal like this, they just have a wide open space and what you can do is just, you know, just kind of eyeball, you know, how big you want it. The bigger, the better, so 41. And then I just need my name and my time. So that's probably like about 24, 25. And that'll be plenty for a metal. I do make a different size for most of my metals. They're just all unique sizes. Now let's open up a web browser. I am on a Mac in Chrome and I've gone to Tinkercad and I've already logged in under my account. Creating an account on Tinkercad is free. This is a free account, a free personal account on Tinkercad. I am at home and I'm gonna hit create. It's gonna ask me what kind of design I wanna create. I wanna create a 3D design and it gives me a blank work plane. I will drag the cube into my work plane and then I'll set the dimensions. Now I only want this uh, metal back tag to be about one millimeter in thickness. Now I'm gonna click this corner here and it lets me adjust the dimensions of the height and the width. Now for the soldier field metal, I'm going to set it to 38.5 in width by 31 in height. And that gives me my metal. I'm gonna zoom in by pressing this little button here. Now I'm going to rename this uh, the Soldier Field 2017 file. That way I just remember which metal it goes with. Now I'm going to drag and drop text over here. And for the text, I'm going to put my name, Caroline. And you can choose from fonts. The default is multi-language. There is sans. There is sans mono. And there is serif. So I personally like the sands. I think really anything will work. The bigger the better, of course, but of course it needs to fit right onto our little slab that we created in step one. We hit the shift button and then resize proportionally by moving the corner until I think it's about the right size. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. All right, it needs to be just a touch smaller. And to really get it where you want it to do, snap grid, uh, the default is one millimeter down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna change it to 0.25 millimeters. That way I can just make it just a touch smaller. Hitting the shift button, of course, just to make sure everything's proportional. And let's see. Okay, so that will fit pretty good. What I've learned about this from doing a couple of these now is that the minimum height for a stock bamboo is about four millimeters. So right here, mine is about five millimeters tall. I would highly recommend having your lettering be at least four millimeters tall. Five is more ideal. 5.64 is the best. Now I'm gonna adjust the height. So I'm gonna adjust it to 1.5 or 1.6. It's really up to you as to the depth of your lettering. And that will fit quite nicely on here. Now once I have this done, just to show you how it works, I have two shapes selected. I'm gonna hit the line button here and I'm gonna just center everything just so you can kind of get an idea of how this works. I'm gonna choose my name. I'm gonna hit this duplicate button here and then I'm gonna down arrow and just go down one, 
and I'm going to change the text from my name to the time. The most important parts is my name and the time, but I've got a little bit more space. So I'm going to hit this duplicate button again, arrow down to bring it down. And then I'm going to put the date of my event and that all fits very nicely on the base. Now I can adjust this design, right click so that it is flat. And now I can kind of decide, Hey, do I want to go down? Just try to eyeball everything. And then now I'm going to select all and I'm going to hit that align button and then align the centers. And then I'm going to select all again and I hit the group button up here. We now have my soldier field back tag done. I'm going to hit export and I'm going to hit STL. It's one of the metals I've showed you. I'm going to go back to Tinkercad. I'm going to create a new 3D design. Now we're going to do the other metal that I showed you. Lab P1S with AMS and I've loaded my silver or gray filament into slot number one. That will be the base of all of my metal tags. And then I've loaded the black filament, which will be the lettering and the numbers to slot number four. Now you could do different combinations. You could do a white background or a blue background, whatever your heart desires, whatever color filament you have. This is a stock P1S with AMS. And if you notice, there's a huge stack of metals to the right because I've got a lot of metals to personalize. Now I'm showing you my bamboo studio. I'm going to hit prepare, start this off, and I'm going to bring over my soldier field back tag and then my hot Lana back tag that I downloaded in the previous step from Tinkercad. Now it's going to give me an error message. Hey, they're too close together. Yes, they are. Zoom in. And so I'm going to hit this arrange button and I'm going to let it arrange itself. All right. So you can do one at a time, but I like to do multiples at a time. And you'll see that it defaulted if I hit object to the, what was in slot one, but you could select other things. So if you were doing, you know, a back background, you can select that here, but I'm doing this gray background. So I'm leaving that right here. And on global, I also changed my system preset to 0.08. The default was around 0.2. Because I'm doing such small prints, I have selected 0.08. Now I'm going to select my first item. And it's kind of hard to see because right now the default is printing the entire tag in gray. Now here's the magic of a Bamboo Labs printer. I'm going to select my item, one of my items, and then I'm going to hit this color painting tool. Now I can make something the other color. So I'm going to make the letters the other color. This is the easiest way for me. There are multiple ways of doing this. I'm going to hit height range, zoom in, and I'm going to choose four, which is the black filament on gray background. And just so that you can see this a little bit better, I'm going to turn this uh, and I'm left clicking to, to adjust this. So you can kind of see the different levels here. And now I can select levels. Select here 0.13 and I'm just going to select that I want this to be black. So then it looks really good. I don't want to set it to one. I'm going to set it to 1.04 and I'm going to press this check mark and that just gets it just a touch lower than I, I do 1.1. I'm sure there's a more effective way of doing this. I am trying to get this black filament as low as possible on the lettering. So the lettering is very clear. If I click off of the object and I'm going to zoom out just a touch, now you can see that it will be a gray background with a black. Select this item, then I'm going to do the same process, color painting. It defaults to that black color because that's what I used before. like somewhere outside of the item. And now I can hit slice plate. Now looking at your slice plate is really, really important because it pretty much tells you if you're going to be able to see the lettering. You see these white dots on here. That is the seam. So by default, you already see the seam. I'm going to click off of that. And this is really what I'm going to see when I print these out. It's going to change filament once. I want to minimize the amount of filament that I use. And it's going to take a total of 18 minutes to print both of these tags. I'm going to hit print plate. You can change the name and I'm going to hit send.
Here are the tags. And let's check it out here. So for a hot Lana, I made this little tag and all I need is just a little bit of super glue. And for Soldier Field Metal, I'm gonna remove the label. My tag fits right in there and I just need to glue that down. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.